Hi, and welcome back to the garden. Today is Sunday, March 27th. No, I didn't forget about the horseradish. It's been down here in the crisper all winter. Now, we ate a bunch. I left some of these bigger ones. Let's see if we can't get a decent rhizome this year. So come on, let's plant. Now, I'm a huge advocate of going to farm sales or even garage sales. Ask if they have any old containers. You'd be surprised what you can get for a dollar. But just like with everything else, if you got one of these and you're going to plant in it, you're going to need to make some holes in the bottom of it. You want to get a couple nice holes for drainage. You get a couple different size containers. All right. Got some buckets of soil from the garden. I'm putting some of these in small containers because I got some folks that I promise this to. Just like with everything else, put a little soil in your container, fit the roots in, backfill with a little good soil. We're gonna give them a drink and there you go. Well, that's two pieces. I think that's gonna be just fine. Okay, so I think that'll take care of that. I'm gonna get a couple more roots like this established. So I'm gonna plant these big ones in this big container. Just take your, dig a hole. Dig another hole. Get that whole thing down in there. Horseradish is pretty tough. And I know there's some of you out there going, why aren't you planting it in the garden? Because it's pretty tough. Once it gets established, you can never get rid of it. Okay, we're going to have three in here. And then, I'm just going to cover it with a little bit of wood chips as a mulch. And give them a good drink of water, and we'll see what we get. And that's how you plant horseradish in a feed bucket. Till next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.